I'm presenting for on the behalf of my team. So good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or maybe good night, wherever you are in the part of the world. And we actually have a very international team. Uh, from I'm from the UK, and we've got people from New Zealand and far away places as well. So our project called Bloody Mirror, the blood comes from the Nears, and also we are using motor imagery. That's why the mirror comes from that. Uh, so to start with, uh, the motor impairment is the commonest neurological deficit following a acquired brain injury. So you call it a stroke, which is the commonest acquired brain injury or a traumatic head injury or other diseases. And rehabilitation of the motor function is a complex process and involves very active participation from the patient. And being a stroke physician, we see it all the time, the therapist trying to participate, all the patients, et cetera. But one thing, because this particularly for my patient, the stroke happens so quickly, the recovery for them can be frustratingly slow. And it's their mind flies like a butterfly, but the body is not following that. And that can create a kind of mood disorder, what we call a misery after stroke. So as a result, the lack of engagement from there in the therapy program, as a result, they ended up having poor recovery and mood actually has got a big effect on their recovery, no doubt about it. So in this project, we want to use FNIS and EEG to interface as a therapeutic tool. So you want to use it as therapeutic tool so that we can show them there is any subclinical improvement during the rehabilitation process, which they're not seeing with, uh, clinically. So the main aims are, we will use the FNIS and EEG interface as a therapeutic tool, as I mentioned before. Also, we would like to test the difference in the signals between uh, when they're doing the task or trying to do the task or imagining it, and also in a virtual environment using virtual reality to see if there is a visual cue through the virtual environment, would it give a different signal compared to if they're just imagining it in their mind without having the real object. So we will use the, uh, the GTEC technology for g and G-Sensor for their needs. And also we'll use the virtual reality headset or augmented reality headset called Magic Lip. Uh, so the protocol, the, we probably need to make it a bit clearer afterwards, but it will be performed after relaxations and we'll do it for 50 trials. And we have a 10 seconds between the trials and the sequence of charts we chosen in random order. So we would like to get rid of uh, any bias resulted from training. So this is kind of a protocol we can of developed within a day. Uh, they will have a cue, they will have a motor imagery, and they will have a pause. Uh, we have got a program. I don't know if this video will work or not. Yep. So it's a simple task. The subject will show the fixation cross to attention, and then the present the cue and then they will do it either in the real life or the virtual life or they're imagining things. So there are three groups in their experiment. So we try to do some of the experiment. Unfortunately, we're still getting the, the software sorted with the MATLAB. So we haven't managed to get any data yet, but this is one of our volunteer in New Zealand with the, you can see the headset and the goggles on. And for, because it's New Zealand, we couldn't use the football, so using rugby instead, but that would do, no doubt. So this is just a lower limb experiment we are thinking about. The middle bit is they're imagining thing or the virtually coming, and the other side, they're using the real ball. And this is the upper limb part of it, in a way. So in reflection, the complex is very simple. This is a simple task, but Whatever you check is granted as a normal person, this patient hasn't. And if this project is su successful, we think it may help to improve the outcome uh, for the patients because they could see things are changing. It's not static. And particularly if we can show that it's helping patients, it will engage uh, the therapist and others to get into the program as well. So 
this we cannot share a picture because of the COVID restriction, but this is our uh, you know, our team working together, and uh, and this is our project. To be honest, thank you very much indeed.